In this video, we will look at solving interest problems, which have two variables. When there's two variables, we need two equations. As before, we can pull one off the last column, but now we can also pull one off the first column. Let's take a look at an example where we see this happen. You may remember that with these investments, we set them up in a table, showing that the principal times the rate would equal the amount of interest earned in one year. We aren't given any information about how much is invested in each of the two accounts. Be careful, the 46,000 is for both accounts together. So let's just call the accounts X and Y. We are told that the first interest rate is 13%. As a decimal, that's 0.13. The second interest rate is 12%. As a decimal, that's 0.12. To calculate the interest, we multiply the principal times the rate, giving us 0.13x and 0.12y. Let's look at what totals were given. We must be careful here as the totals are both in dollars. We need to decide is the total the principal or starting investment, or is it the interest? or the amount earned in the account. $46,000 is the amount invested. That's our principal. 4600 sorry. The 586 is what she earned in interest. That completes our table, and just as before, we can get an equation from the last column. 0.13x, the interest from the first account, plus 0.12y, the interest in the second account equals 586, the total amount of interest. Now, we can also get an equation from the last column. x plus y equals 4,600. We can solve this system now using the addition method by eliminating the y, multiplying by negative 0.12. The first equation is unchanged. 0.13x plus 0.12y equals 586. The second equation, negative 0.12x, negative 0.12y equals 552, negative. We are now ready to combine the equations and eliminate that y. We're left with 0.01x equals 34. We can get the x alone by dividing both sides by 0.01, and we find out x, the amount in the first account, is 3,400. We still need to find y, and we can find that by plugging our x value into that second equation. x, or 3,400, plus y equals 4,600. Subtracting 3,400 from both sides, and we get y equals 1,200. This means 3,400 was invested in the first account, x, which was at 13%. We have 3,400 at the 13%, and the other amount, 1,200, is our y, which was at 12%. By getting an equation off the first and last columns, we can answer the question of how much is in each account. In part two of this video, we'll solve one more example where we can see this process work out.